Detection is the first line of defence. While artillery battles once defined the war, up to 80% of all Russian and Ukrainian casualties are now caused by drone strikes. This Iris radar is being used in Ukraine to find enemy drones, and it's now had an upgrade, more than doubling its detection zone from 5 kilometers to a 12 kilometer radius. Key for finding the deadly low-cost Shahed drone, the Iranian version in use since the beginning of the full-scale invasion in 2022. Russia has since enhanced the original design, making the suicide drone even more lethal. Its sheer size and speed means it can damage a residential building, even without explosives. Particularly from the Ukrainian users, but also some other users around the world, we've noticed uh, an increased demand to detect larger fixed wings. Uh, so think about Shahid in Ukraine as something that uh, enabled to be effectively detect and defeat them. You want to ideally see them at seven, eight kilometers optimum range and this capability enables just that. The Iris radar weighs just 29 kilos and gives users 360 degree coverage. It detects, tracks and classifies drones at speeds of up to 60 miles an hour. The radar can also be mounted onto a vehicle for convoy protection. It may be effective, but with a starting price of half a million euro, it's not cheap. I'm told over 200 radars are currently operational, although exact details can't be disclosed. Typically there are fixed uh, use cases where this radar may be installed on a tripod like this, or on top of a building or on a pole, where it's uh, providing situational awareness to protect critical infrastructure. Think about government buildings, army bases, energy infrastructure, uh, all that could be uh, under threat from drones, and then the radar provides detection and tracking uh, for situational awareness so the, the user could then use other technologies to defeat those threats. These types of critical national infrastructure have been targeted by both Ukraine and Russia over the past couple of years. Those attacks have ramped up in the past few months, causing shortages of petrol, diesel, oil and gas with devastating effects for the front line and the general public. Using AI, this latest upgrade means the radar is more accurate, learning from what it has already seen on the front line in Ukraine. The feedback coming direct from the soldiers facing these threats. It's a very low false positive rate, meaning uh, if there's a bird flying, our radar knows that's a bird and not a drone. So the users of our radars, they only get an alert there's a drone if it's really a drone. Uh, and we're also very good at picking up the drone uh, out of all the flying objects. So our accuracy of detection, our speed of detection is, uh, is very high. But the drone manufacturers, they do a job to make it harder to detect them. They're faster, more invisible. So we, with our software and some hardware adjustments, try to follow that and keep developing better software and hardware to uh, also uh, detect these new, new drone form factors that are that are harder to detect. So it's, it's a continuous race between the drone manufacturers and the anti-drone industry. With the threats themselves ever changing, the fight for air superiority continues. Over three and a half years into the full-scale invasion, there's no signs of slowing down. Sophie Kakoyanis, BFBS Forces News. Thanks for watching. For more from BFBS Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.